I'm not actually sure if I've done, uh, well, not many times at least, uh, easy mode. Uh, still, uh, well, what's, do we need tremor totem and every kind of totem, as usual? Is there anything big difference? Is it just a boss that's different? Legit, the what's... only um, difference is that with the Arrhenius fight, he does have a specific mechanic that normally, like, when the hard mode fight, only the couple of healers have to deal with. Um, oh, yeah, two bosses. But yeah. That fights, okay. When we get okay. to that, I will um, kind of go over. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, but otherwise, it's the same. It is essentially the same. You know, the yes. um, main boss fight is the same. Yes, yes. All right. So, just like any other Emerald Sanctum, all of our, well, okay, some of our tanks. <laughs> some of our tanks, or it should have all of our tanks. Why, why am I only seeing three? Okay, so our tanks are all labeled with markers. Every time we approach a pack, tanks, just make sure that you label your target. I will try to direct the raid as accordingly um, to ensure that everybody kind of knows which targets to focus on. Our master looter today is going to be Hillbro, so I ask you all to pay attention to the sound of the ducky. So when you hear the sound of the duck, please do pay attention to the chat. Um, that being said, I will give the explanation for uh, the easy mode fight once uh, we actually get into a position where we're going to take the first boss. So, you don't have to worry about that. Everything else, when it comes to mechanic-wise, is exactly the same. Right, so, that being said... Probably poison up. I'm going to do a ready check real quick, make sure everybody has their desired buffs. If you feel like you're missing something, please you call it out in the chat. Hazel, are we missing something specifically? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's missing self. Alder, are you here? Or I believe that's Thunder Fury. So let me know when you're back. Everyone else, for the dreamers, let's make sure that um, we are putting down our tremor totems. Sleep is not fun. And really quickly, do we have anyone with us who this is your first Emerald Sanctum run? Beautiful. Alright, I will give a little bit more explanation then. So the standard order when it comes to the mobs is going to be the dreamers first. Those are the little bastards that we just fought this time. Um, then it'll be the wormkin, the suppressors, the worms, the scalebane, and the dragonkin. I will try to call out um, to kind of organize the groups based off of what we have in power-wise, given a fight. Um, 
For this stack, I would like to pick up the scale bane if we could. Mm. You know what? It would be easier to just take down the worm first because he's right here. All right, for the worm, shamans, please do put down your poison cleansing totems. Casters and healers, you want to make sure you take a step back because of the poison volley. It's all good, it's all good. All right, for this next pack, casters and healers, you wanna make sure, excuse me, casters, you wanna make sure that you are focusing on if the dragonkin is shimmering or not. When they shimmer, they reflect magic. But same standard, we want to make sure the dreamers go down first. Alright, let's get them. Salmon, please do remember to put down your channels. Alright, after this, we will do a quick drink break. Make sure we eat our oranges. And then we will pull that scale bane once everybody's at sufficient mana. Beautiful. All right, for the Scalebane melee, you want to make sure that you stay at the back of the tail, because he does cleave. Every time we have a Scalebane, we want to make sure that we use pointed away from the rest of the raid. Nicely done, nicely done. Alright, for this next pack, we do have two Wormkins. Once the, um, the Dreamers are down, we're going to focus on both of the Wormkins. Healers, you want to make sure that you are focusing heals on the tanks that are holding the Wormkins. The Wormkins do a poison stack that is absolutely nasty. Alright, everybody will be on X. Once X is down, casters, you're going to focus on star. Melee, you're going to focus on circle. Divide and conquer. Alright, nicely done, nicely done. We're going to make our way over to probably the left side now. We're going to take that scale bane. Same deal as the last scale bane. And then after the Scalebane pack, or excuse me, the Scalebane, we'll focus on that other pack with the Wormkin and the Dreamers. Beautiful. 
Alright, same deal. Focus down the dreamers first, and then we'll focus on the wormkin. Big heels on the tank hole and the wormkin. We have sufficient mana. Oh yeah. Frey, did you see the 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 new trailer for the Turtle Wow 2? Oh yeah. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be like less green. Alright, before we do anything, we're going to make sure that we've rezzed everyone up. Our next pack is going to be the pack that is on the far left. That's true. The legacy option is still going to be in better graphics. Ideally, what I would like to do is I'd like to take this pack, and then the pack with the worm, and then we should be able to position ourselves to take, um, Arrhenius. So, for this pack, ladies and gents, we are going to be focusing on the wormkin and the suppressor first. Um, the suppressor, any of our lovely rogues. Arrhenius is the name of the first dragon. <laughs> um... Lovely Rose, if you see the Suppressor doing a health drain or a mana drain, please do try to interrupt. But same deal, scale banes need to be pointed away from the raid. And once the Wormkin and the Suppressor are down, melee we're going to focus in on the Dragonkin, and this caster is going to focus in on the scale bane. Four, three, two... One. Damn. Lots of regular leather. Alright, the wormkin is picked up. Or it was picked up. Beautiful. Everyone focus on X. And again, casters, you're going to be on the scale bane after X goes down. Melee, we're going to focus on star first and then unlock. Damn, hey little sparks, you guys are pulling threat. <laughs> Let's take a look at the threat meters. Focus down on the scale bane. Alright, before we move on to the next pack, we want to make sure everyone's up. Oh yes, let's make sure we re resalve re for sure. Maybe rebuff also, so it all pile off going out to the minute. That's not a bad idea. Alright, for this next pack, guys, we want to make sure that we're pointing the worm away from the raid. 
but still big heals on the Wormkins. Once the Dreams are down, everyone we're going to focus on the Wormkins and then the Worm. But point the Worm away from the raid. We don't want to make sure... We don't want to get our healers and casters hit with that Poison Volley. I'm going to set a pull timer. Four, three, two, one. All right, everyone, we're going to make sure before we pull the next pack, we're going to mana up. Allow our healers to get the mana they can. Um, yeah, okay, we'll take this next pack. All right, for this next pack, relatively the same deal as any of the other ones. Scale Banes, we want to make sure they're pointed away from the raid. Um, Rokaido, knowing you, I can definitely believe that. Galbane's pointed away from the raid. And then once the dreamers are down, we're gonna Wormkin first. Alright, it looks like we are sufficient on mana, so I am going to set a pull timer. Four, three. Please do pull One. them back kind of into this corner. So healers, please make sure you stick a step back. We do need to still be cautious of where Arrhenius is pathing. Casters and healers, you want to make sure you're taking a step back. Somehow eight click bunch of mages. Oh, it's because the scale beans are fucked. Can we make sure we are pulling the scale beans away from the raid? It's really hard to see in the green. The <laughs> Alright, a little hairy guys, but 
all in all, not too bad. Want to make sure everyone is resed up. Um, for those packs where we do have multiple scale veins, we do need to remember, pull them away from the raid. Those cleaves hurt. Harry can be fun, yes. Alright, um, we're going to pull back a little bit. Because Arrhenius is right there. Actually, this once everyone is up and manned up and buffed up, this might be the perfect time to pull. So while everyone is rezzing, um, I'm going to go over a little bit on the mechanics. So, Arrhenius works a lot like the worms. He does have a poison volley. The only difference that makes him annoying as hell is that he has a sleep, much like Sonius does, but he also has a silence ability. And the silence does not work the same way that other silences would. The silence get applies to one person in a party, and that silence spreads to that five-man party. So all of my healers are getting pulled into their own groups. And you guys need to be as far back as possible. We have improved concentration aura. Um, okay, Coin, if you want to fix that then. As you see fit. Melee, highly suggested, but not recommended to take a um, nature protection potion. But if you would like to, again, recommended. But same deal. He works a lot like a worm. It's just, we need to make be cautious of his silence. So casters and healers, because it is an AoE ability that has a distance, you need to make sure that you are far, far back. All of my casters and my healers. Alrighty. That being said, really quickly going to do a ready check to make sure everybody is comfortable with the... Oh, um... uh, he's all the way over there now. Is this a boss we're going to pull the whole dungeon as far, or is it only the last one? No, so it's only the last one. You don't have to worry about the ads. So, um, the next... So we're going to wait for Arrhenius to path back, and then we'll face him right here. I'm actually going to put some markers. So casters and healers, you're going to be in the purple. Don't go past the purple line. I'd like to fight him, like, here-ish. No, Coin, he's coming back. He's pathing pretty, like, he's coming, um, he's coming, so. Alright, that being said, I would like Mithrin to focus on the boss first. Um, kind of hold aggro and hold threat. Everyone else, we just hit him hard, hit him fast. And, yeah. Uh, shamans, please do remember to put down your poison cleansing totems. And Tremor Totems do not work with this fight. So if any of our healers are slept, please do try to move back. Or other healers, please do focus on healing them. If he's getting hairy and a healer is sleeping, if some healers are down for some reason, just uh, tell it out loud and I can assist. Just throw some yes. extra heals sometimes. Yes. If it's her. And I may call on some of our lovely druids to battle res if possible. Alright. He is coming. Again, I would like to try to fight him on the purple, or excuse me, the blue, so that our healers and casters are at max range. Um, or at least have our melee on the blue and, like, the dragon, like, right here-ish. So, um, Mithrin, I will allow you to pull whenever you feel it's safe and easiest to pull and yep. bring them back but again casters and healers please do focus in on how your distance is i'm pulling you want to be at max distance you will not disturb the awakener
No poison cleanses, guys. Yes, here we can poison cleanse. It is only on Sonius. Wait, here we can do it? Yes. Yes, yes. Arrhenius works pretty much exactly like the worms, save for his sleep and his silence. All right, let's see. Can anyone hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, I got DC'd. I think my internet pooped out on me for a second. Oh, it looks like... All right, so with the claw, I'm assuming we killed the dragon. I can't... I'm still logging in. Uh, with the claw, it is, um, yes, it is hard reserve for those who are members of Murder Mittens. That technically does include Rokaido for anyone who is asking. Um, if you are in need, please do roll. Is Rokaido going to win with a 30? Only guildies, if all of the guildies are not in need of the claw, then it'd be open for anyone else. Yeah, but the Rokaido is not a guildie, so it's open for all? No, Rokaido is a guildie. That's just his one of his other characters. Yes, he... He does... What? Your hunter's in the guild? Then fucking roll! I didn't know that! Trolling. Uh, this is. Uh... If you have the guild role on your Discord, then you are a guildy. We take very we take importance with that. But it was healer main spec, right? First. Asandria is tanky, I think. All right, so it's going to Rokaido. Either way, yes. This is hard rest for Murder Mittens. If no one in Murder Mittens needs it, it's open to anyone on the first Saturday, or excuse me, the first Sunday of the month. If nobody needs it, we should do hard mode. Hmm? Well, I hard mode is for the other Sundays of the month. Alrighty, that being said, uh, we're going to continue on with uh, taking down the rest of the mobs. Once all the mobs are done, we will focus in on Sonius, and I will talk about the fight then. I will talk about the fight then. I can speak English. You can. Some days. Ah, one of those days. I kind of just 
left 12 hours, so. I'm still waking up, to be completely honest. This is a nighttime snack then. It is 12.30 here, where I'm at, and I may have slept, like, 12 hours, exactly. Once I'm convinced you don't sleep, my dude. Alrighty, for this pack, same deal, dreamers go down first, scale banes, please do point them away from the raid. Dreamers first, and then, um, I can't really tell the makeup. Looks like there's suppressor and a dragon kin. Alright, once the, um, the suppressor is down, melee will focus in on the dragon kin, casters you're gonna focus in on star, and then once both of those are down, we'll focus in on circle. Right. Um, shit, of course, when I DC'd, everything got pulled out. Alright, we have sufficient mana. So, if we would like, I'm gonna set a pull timer. If I can spell pull. Four. Ability, buddy. Three. Two. One. Pick up scale veins, pick up scale veins, point them away from the raid, please. Dreamers still up. Those take priority. Melee, if you want to focus on triangle. Casters, if you can focus on uh, circle, I guess. And then we can focus in on star. this pack, which I believe we only have one more path left, right? Yeah, we get three more paths. Let's make sure everyone is up, make sure that we have sufficient mana, and then we can pull the next pack. I will let everyone know when we want to pull.
Alrighty, it looks like we have sufficient mana. So if we want to pull. Alright, with this pack, guys, just make sure that we are blasting the dreamers. Shamans, make sure that you're putting down your drummer totems. And if you can AoE, AoE. faster these little bastards get down, the better. Beautiful. Alright, we are going to park ourselves in front of Sonius. And I will explain how this fight goes. It is literally exactly the same as hard mode. However, since we do have some people here uh, that are new, I am going to go over the mechanics. So Sonius is a three-phase fight. The first phase is him in his night elf form that lasts from 100% health to 90% health. At that 90% health mark, he will turn into his dragon form. During that position as well, there is a threat drop. So please, I want to make sure that we have our tanks, number one and number two at least, on the threat meters. Um... So, probably what I will have everyone do. Um, Alessandro, if you can open the fight, then I'll have Mithrin and you kind of fight for a uh, threat. From 90 to 60% health, while he is in his dragon form, he will play down a number of different curses, including sleep um, and anything else. This is the fight that we don't want to decurse or cleanse anything. Anything you cleanse or decurse will come back in a stronger vari um, variation. And you can very quickly kill the raid. So please, if you can decurse or, you know, cleanse, please do not. At the 60% mark, he will go to sleep. He'll summon two portals that'll summon adds. Unlike how the other mob fights went, where we focused on the little ones first, um... Yes, tremor down in phase two when he summons the adds, 100%. Um, for the adds, the big adds need to go down first, then the dreamers. Because the big, ad big adds will continue to spawn more and more dreamers. Once all of the adds are down, and I mean it, all of the adds are down, then DPS, you can focus back in on the boss fight. The boss will only be down for like 15 seconds. He'll come back and he'll focus in on the tank that was um, highest on the threat feeder. And so Mithrin definitely needs heavy heals during that portion while we're still cleaning up the ads. Mithrin, please do call out if any dreamers are on you during that point so that we can pull them off and get them done. Yep. At that point, it's just a repeat of phase two until he's dead. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. We totally got this. And we don't have to split our healers up like we do normally for um, hard mode. So we should have the healers and the power to do this. It is highly, highly recommended, and I would almost say um, required for everyone to pop a nature protection potion. You'll probably need to pop a second or a third throughout the fight. DPS, if you need to take a step step back to drink a potion or put on a band-aid, please do so. Um, you want to make sure that our healers are focusing in on our tanks. Warriors and paladins that are not healing, please do try to consecrate or battle shout, challenge and shout to pick up those streamers so that they stay away from our healers and away from the tank that is holding off. So, okay. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm going to really quickly do a ready check. If you have any questions or if you're unclear about something, don't be shy. Just post it in the chat or say it in the voice chat. I'll try to explain something. If you feel like you're missing a buff, um, please also put it out in chat. Alright, it looks like nobody is AFK. So casters and healers, you do want to make sure that you are staying back as far as you can to avoid that sleep. Melee, just like any other dragon, fight on a side. Alright, no one's AFK, we should be good. So, Alessandro, if you'd like to start the fight. And then you and Mithrin kind of... Hello! With my eternal duty, 
The awakening has been foretold long before your coming. All right, melee and warriors. casters. Low and low damage. Low and low. We want to make sure that Mithrin and Alessandro are number one, number two. This is low and slow. Tremors now. Yes, tremors. Melee, you're in charge of getting the dreamers off of the healers. We want to focus again on the big ads first, then the little ads. focus in on the dragon. Leave all of the ads in the end. Focus back in. And again, this is just repeat of phase two, just without any ads. Hmm. should be fine.
congratulations for those the of you who were your first cannot be stopped. or your first not uh, by you. Emerald Sanctum on easy mode. I you must completed awaken the first Emerald Sanctum on easy mode. Once a I month thing for Ritterbind, I gotta come up with a better name, it Lord ends of this. <laughs> Alright, if you are interested in coming along with us, we will be doing an Onyxia immediately afterwards, um, after the loot has been divvied up, and uh, all of the dragons have been skinned. Oh, did we get a riddle? The staff! Uh, a curious question. The bag. Yes. Do we roll yes. for the bag? So the bag was probably SR. Um, it could be SR to anyone. Oh, it's not SR. Oh. Then yes, we are rolling for the bag. Um, I would like to highlight though, you can only have one bag of vast consciousness. It is a unique item. It's a great bag. I wish you could have more of them, but like if you don't have it, I would highly suggest you roll for it. Yes. I can't believe we got the staff. This is that moment where coincidence is like, keep me alive. <laughs>